Right everyone, Wim Collector here. Right, I'm going to make a shillelagh for this video. Uh, so this is a bit of blackthorn given to me by Jim M from YouTube. Uh, check out his channel, he's a good bloke. Um, yeah, he very kindly gave me this. Thank you Jim, I appreciate it. This has been cured for over a year, so it's ready to go. It's about the right size, well it's perfect size for me. So just about there, I'll show you it probably the other way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make it into a shillelagh. One tip I can give you if you're ever doing anything like this, make sure you put a bit of cloth in your vise to protect the wood, because a vise, especially a metal vise like this, will definitely damage the wood. I'll tell you what, this is a good old bit of wood, very hard. That is a hard old bit of wood that. That's decent. <laughs> I've decided I'm probably going to cut this part off because it's got a slight bend, it's slightly thinner and I think personally for me, my height, that won't really make much of a difference. So yeah, I think that's alright. Right, so I will start shaping the head now. For the ball end, I want it sort of facing that way with the curve. Well, that's obviously how you would do it. Um, I just say I've never really done this before, you know, I know how to shape wood in that. So I'm just going to have to start shaping this and see how it goes really. I may be taking a little bit off of here, maybe up there. But I think what I'll do, I'll start taking off bits and seeing what it looks like. <laughs> I've not given it a full on circular head because I think it would take too much of the wood away. So it's still quite elongated, but a lot of them are like that anyway. They're not always perfectly round, but it, this gives it a bigger handle and more weight basically. So that's the head done. It's got quite a nice big head on there. Fits in the hand well, either way, left handed and right handed. So I've wire brushed the body. I might now look for um, a ferrule for the end. Fit that on and then I can start finishing this. I use a lot of scrap for my projects. This is the end off an old curtain pot. All I need to do is put this in here, cut the, these may be able to be snapped off, but I'll cut it anyway. Cut this off, because I don't need this. Just got rid of that. So all I need to do now, file that smooth and I've got a nice pre-made ferrule. You could just use a bit of tubing, you know there's loads of things you can do for ferrules, a bit of tubing and then screw that on, put a washer on, put the washer through. Right, I just need to shape this to size now, so I'm using a hacksaw because this seems to cut better, the finer teeth. Yeah. 
Right, so that's basically the sort of the rough parts done. It's all been sanded. Uh, I've filled a couple of holes by mixing some super glue with some some of the sawdust, you know, from this. I've taped up this top bit because I'm going to black do it black right up to there, and then the rest of the top will be just um, varnished. So you'll have a distinct difference. But I don't want to touch any of this top bit with black because I'm, I'm going to use leather dye. If it touches that top bit it will probably really badly stain into that wood quite deeply. The bare, the bare wood. And you don't want that, you want this to be varnished. So black right up to there and then the top bit will be um, varnished. Hopefully this edge will look alright. Let's see what this looks like. Shall we? Oh yes, that is going to soak in nicely. That is one good thing with leather dye. It will really, really stain wood quite well. Alright, I'm going to put the coat of varnish on now. Hopefully my varnish is still alright. I think it's gone a bit funny, but it doesn't matter. It's all I've got anyway, so I'll have to do it. Right, I've got a quick tip for you. You have to excuse the fan, but um, I'll try to dry the varnish on this as quick as I can. Uh, do not put cling film on something you've recently varnished. I just had a nightmare where all the all of the cling film was stuck to the varnish, um, and this section about this long, about a foot long, I had to wire brush it, put the black back on, and then varnish it again. But it's all right now, but yeah. Don't do that. Right, there you go. There is my little walking stick shillelagh. I'm really happy with it, actually. I'll, I'll obviously do some HD pictures and that. But yeah, I think that came out really nice for, for, you know, for the tools I've got and how I did it. You know, literally just hand tools, a saw and a rasp, essentially. Um, yeah, I think that's really nice. We've got a nice metal ferrule that's capped off. It's got the traditional black um, shaft, and then it's got the actual sort of, is it knob carry or is that something else? I can't remember now, but it's got the the, the traditional sort of um, knob end on it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's comfortable. Yeah, I hope you like this little tutorial. It's a bit basic, but you know, these things aren't that difficult to do. It's just, you know, take your time and you know, and you and you can do them as you know, and if you've got the right materials in the first place, good bit of materials. So what I'll do next is I'll do some HD pictures. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful. Um don't forget to like, comment, share it if you want. Definitely subscribe, and if you do subscribe, hit the notifications and then you'll see lots of other walking stick videos and stuff I do. And I've also got playlists and quite a few making walking stick videos if you want. So don't go anywhere yet though, because you've still got to see the images at the end, alright? Thanks for watching, see you later, watch the rest of the video.